All right, everyone, Plague Meister here. Today, as you can see, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a risk of rain item tier list. Basically, what this means is gonna be my own general opinion, and we're gonna be doing it for specifically the commando. So let's jump into it. Commando, attack speed, soldier syringe. Of course, this is gonna be at least an A rank. Commando's already a high attack speed, but even more, more DPS. Obviously, this item has a chance to completely negate any damage you take it is a random chance not completely random the more of them you have the higher the chance of it activating um this is always solid for pretty much any character we're going to go at least b rank monster tooth i'm going to be honest with you i don't like it it's not the greatest especially if you're doing things like glass runs where grabbing hp is almost pointless at the beginning of the game um, i'm putting it in the d rank glasses another great item Critical rate, attack speed, DPS, great. Movement speed, movement speed's always good. Commando needs some movement speed, we'll put it in B rank. Bustling fungus, Commando is almost never sitting still. This item, I'm gonna go ahead and put pretty low. Um, not all the way down, but I'm gonna put it pretty low. Um, however, when we get to its void counterpart, it's gonna be a little higher. Um, this specifically for Commando, um, that added first hit damage um it only really works if you have basically your right click your special attack or secondary attack i guess it would be it really only works if you have that you only have one it's okay it's not a huge damage boost the commando doesn't have anything that does a huge amount of damage um it's pretty still pretty good we're gonna put it in b Bleeding, um, the more of these you have, the better with Commando. Your bleed stacks are gonna hit a lot more often due to the amount of times he hits per second. Um, there's faster attack speed, more bleed, pretty good. This item, not great, I don't like it. I mean, it's really only good for the first two, maybe three stages. After that, you don't level up enough for it to really be worth anything. Um, I often try to stay away with from it. I take something else almost every time if I have the option. I am going to put it in the F tier, only because he already has pretty high attack speed. Cautious Slug's pretty good early game, mid game sometimes when you have that time to breathe. I'm going to put it in C, it's fairly good for healing early game. Shield, eh, it's okay. Yeah, I'll put it C only because it gives you a little bit of a breathing room when you get hit and hits that out. Um, this one, again, I'm going to kind of rank it same as Monster Tooth, only because it's another low healing and you need a lot of them for it to be worth anything this is pretty good killing things is always good i'm going to put it in the b rank gives you some uh aoe damage as you kill things stunning um it is good especially when you get the mark of death which we'll get to later right here um it does count as a status effect so you get boom bam and then you get four yes you get mark of death fireworks a rank all the time it doesn't matter what character Fireworks are always a grab. This is very good for Commando as well. You do want that movement speed with Commando. Uh, this is very good. It gives you a second uh, right click, which gives you some damage. Boom, boom. Sticky Bombs, I'm going to put in the C. Um, they don't spawn as often as I think they used to back when the game first started. Um, they're not bad. They're in the C. This key, I don't really care to get. It's D. It's free item, but even then, the free item may not be that great. Boss damage, always good. We want to put it in the B rank. It's not bad. It is kind of rare-ish compared to what it used to be. Uh, Topaz Brooch is pretty great. Um, I grab it pretty much, especially with the Ice and Elite runs that I do. Topaz Brooch pretty much doubles your HP in that case. Um, otherwise, you need to stack these if you're playing like a regular run. You want to start stacking these. It gives you a lot more HP. Focus Crystal is an A rank with Commando. Sometimes you do get a little close. So basically, my main build with Commando is always attack speed, critical, focus, crystal, right? Um, pretty much getting that DPS up as high as possible. Uh, meat, that C rank. I mean, if you're playing a normal run, 25 HP is 25 HP. Later on, way later on in the game, it does not really matter. But early game, it does give you that boost. Flat damage reduction, we're going to put in a C rank. Missiles, missiles, missiles with Commando. Due to the amount of times he does hit, it makes this proc more often. It is very good. This item is also pretty good. Uh, we're in the greens now. Do I want to put this in B or A? Mm, I kind of put it in the same category as the 
gas tank only because it's pretty much the same thing. Um, just larger explosion. This one, always good to grab. Double jump, triple jump, quadruple jump. The more you have, the more times you can jump. Guitar, I'm putting in A rank. With the, Again, the amount of times we hit, the more times that's going to proc. Um, in a normal run, leeching seed is A. In glass and leech, like I like to run, it's like a D. Um, it does not protect you enough for you to... Or it does not heal enough in order to keep up with the glass mode. Um... If we're going by normal run, though, the more you stack, the better. I'd put it at A, especially if you have a lot of attack speed. This item, again, this one's almost, I might even put this one at S rank, only because if you have, the more criticals you have, the faster your attack speed. If you have, like, five of these, this pretty much instantly activates your three stacks, and you're just absolutely destroying doing more critical more attack speed dps goes way up with this item whip added movement speed when you're out of combat c rank it's good early game but once you get later on you're never out of combat this item don't care i mean first three stages it kind of does something but after that it's pretty garbage this item I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I have this item unlocked. I've been playing 186 hours, and I do not think I have this item unlocked. I'm going to leave that there. Fuel cell, extra equipment, good. That's about it. This is a B. Normal runs, you do want to pick this up. It does give you an additional 100 HP, unless you're in glass mode, in which case you have to kill 100 things in order to get 10 HP, in which case I'd put it probably as C. But for a normal run, we'll put it in B. A bandolier has a chance to drop item, or not an item, has a chance to drop pretty much a ammo, which is a cooldown reset. Um, if you have a lot to be, but it's a green item, you're not going to get a ton of these, so I put it in the C. This, I forget what it does, it stays there. Sprinting, damage reduction, C. You're sprinting all the time, but again, it's green, you're not going to get a lot of them. The bands, put both of them in the B, they're pretty good. The Chronobobble. Chronobobble. As much as the meme it is, I'm just going to put it in C. It is give you a status effect, but it just slows them down. It doesn't really do a whole lot other than that. Um, Wax Quail. I'll put it in C as well. Um, only because you have to jump and it gives you attack speed. This item, great. We do always want that. Um, whenever we see it, we grab it, especially in Elite Only Runs basically what it does um, elite monsters pretty much have less HP or they die before they hit zero HP the more you have the less you have to damage them this thing whenever you what was it whenever you use your equipment you get attack speed see it's okay this item has a random not completely random but it has for lack of better terms, random chance of setting out a giant healing aura that will heal you during a teleporter event. It's a... Uh, it can come in clutch, but... Yeah, put it in C. Razor wire, take damage, do damage, B. Pretty good. The more you have, the larger that spread, the more damage it does. This item I'm going to put in C. B. C. If you get it early game, it's like an A because you have a chance of getting a large amount of gold after killing an enemy. Later in the game, it's more like a C. It doesn't help too much in really late game. If you're on like second and third run throughs, it's like a D. So we'll put it in C. This guy. I'm not going to lie. I thought I'd know most of these items. <laughs> Mark of Death. Good late game. B. Behemoth. A always pretty good you see behemoth you take behemoth sacrificial dagger a s a s a s usually when i get sacrificial dagger i win this thing also s pretty much anything in that range dies um this mm, c chance to spawn ghost doing me's this item i hate getting but i love getting it's annoying to jump, but you obliterate anything you land on. 
I'll put it in A. I'm not going to put it in S. It is an S tier item for strictly damage. However, it's annoying, so I'm putting an A. Um, the horn sprinting, as long as you're healing, you send out little ghosts. This used to be pretty good. I think it's still fairly good if you have like two of them and you have a lot of healing. Like if you have this plus leeching seed, then it's like an S rank, but yeah, B rank. This guy every 10 seconds sends out electrical charges. A, hey, it does lots of damage. 54 leaf clover. I'm going to put that in A as well. It has pretty much gives anything has a chance of proccing, like a chance of critical gives it X amount more percentage of that happening. So it's always good to grab. Meat hook, I don't get very often. I think I've only had it two or three times, which is pretty weird. Um, from what I hear, late game, it can be pretty good and do a lot of damage, but me personally, I haven't gotten it very often, so I'm just going to put it in B for the few things I have had. Alien head, I believe that's reduced cooldowns, so that's always good, put it in B. This guy, forget what he does, this guy is pretty great. What was, what did it do? I forget the exact description, but every time I have it, I do pretty good, so it's A. <laughs> Yes, what a great term. Every time I have it, it does pretty good. Uh, Dio's best friend. Extra life. Simple as that. You, I'm going to have to look up what these do before I rank them. This guy, this one I know is, um, as you kill an elite, it's pretty much reset cooldowns for X amount of time. So that's an... I did kill myself when I had this. <laughs> that was fun. But it's an A. You are a Healy healer. One of the better healers but at the same time if you have the other heals it becomes kind of useless aegis is used to be pretty good but you have to heal past 100 percent for it to give you anything um reduced defense is good this thing does a lot of damage as it shoots out this guy i find useless for commando Pretty useless for Commando, because you have to sit stationary. Commando doesn't usually sit stationary. This guy is great. He just gets rid of projectiles coming towards you, and he gets rid of a very good amount of them. I'd put him in A for defense. Um, lots of HP. Commando does need HP. I'll put it in a B. It's pretty good. Um, I believe this is the stupid bug garbage. Forget what you are. I believe you're the... Oh, the big gold portal boss, which is also kind of garbage in game. Don't remember you, skip you, don't know you, skip you. Pot, great, heal. Heal and deal damage. But it's not a lot, so we'll put in B. Glass mood. Glass depends who you are. For me, I love it. It's an A. Crown, no. This depends on what character you are, really. Um, I'll put it like a C. It can be okay. Flower, if I remember correctly, is pretty okay. This, if I remember correctly, is absolute garbage. Cheryl, I just don't remember what it does right now. I don't remember what a lot of these do. Beads, garbage, hate it. This can be pretty good. Um, if you're trying to do a run that you want to go through quick, this pretty much reduces the size of the teleporter, but also... Doubles the speed, I believe. Um, this throws fireballs everywhere. Let's see, don't remember what you do. This can be pretty good. I'll put it in B. It pretty much creates a area of power. If you're in that area, you deal more damage, but at the same time, your enemies will as well. Um, don't remember what the rest of these do. Let's get into these active items. So, rockets is pretty good. I do like the rockets. This, I don't like at all. We'll put it in the F. It just gives you a heal. That's it. Primordial cube. When I see it, I grab it. Um, most characters, it helps a lot. Um, commando, you can literally grab these guys. And if you have all the other ingredients you need for a stupid, really good build, you can just suck them all in. Just <laughs> and they just die. Um, hundred percent crit rate. If you're doing a build late game and you have a lot of these, this becomes useless. Early game, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll put it in C. 
Backup. Backup's pretty good. We'll put it also in B. This guy is very great. We'll put him in A. It's pretty much a one shot to bosses. Flight becomes garbage later. It goes there. Lightning. I see lightning. I usually grab it. This. No. It takes all your money. This, I believe, heals you as well, but it's not great. Um, this, if you're looking for items, if you're kind of new to the game, it's good, but otherwise, you don't use it after you know where the maps pretty much. Don't 100% remember what this does, or that. Egg, don't remember. This, high defense. If you're doing glass run, it helps you a lot, and if you're not doing glass run, it's almost garbage, because late game, you die in one hit anyways. Early game's pretty good. Saw, great. I put it up here. It does a ton of damage real quick. This, I believe you can recreate an item to something else, which can be good. See? Um, leech life. See? This. And that, I don't remember. These items, let me tell you why I'm putting every single one of them in the F. In 186 hours of game time, I've only ever seen one. <laughs> so, never depend on it. And even when you do get it, it almost doesn't do anything for you. Um, I do not know what those do. I remember getting this in a run lately, and I did not know what it does, and I don't remember what it does. That, I, if I remember, is garbage. This, good. B, trade it for whatever you want. This, B, can trade it for whatever you want. This, you're never going to find a red. I've never, never seen a red printer. Green's pretty rare as well. But for some odd reason, I see yellow printers all the time. <laughs> Uh, Mocha, that's going in the A's. It gives you attack speed as well as movement speed. Uh, watch, I'll put in B. If you're playing a normal run and you don't die instantly, it does give you a fairly good damage boost, and you can stack them. Uh, glass mode, you take them, but they're more of a C, because... Yeah, it, actually, no. In glass mode, it's more of an A. Let me, yeah, back up. It's more of an A, because you take it, you don't have to re really worry about it breaking, because if it breaks, you're probably dead. So we'll put them into B. It's just a good damage boost. This, glass mode is garbage. Normal mode, probably put it at a C. You get damage, you get gold. This in glass mode is an F, but we'll probably put that in C as well, because normal runs, it is low HP. You do get healed. Damage reduction, we do like the damage reduction. This item is supposed to give you something at the beginning of a run, but I've never seen it do anything. Like, I've I've never seen it do anything. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's just me. I'm going to put an F. Um, this item, I'll put it in C. You kill something, get a small boost of movement speed. Shurikens are pretty good. They do some good damage. Put that in the B. Um, this is literally just that. So we'll put it there as well, I guess. This I'm going to move up to an A. If you can get that, it automatically makes this and this like twice as good. Any ignite effect is four times damage. It's great. Um, this, I don't remember what it does. We'll come back. This makes all your drones that you get OP be arguably an A. I just don't use drones a whole lot. Even though I talk about in glass mode, it's pretty well great, but I never end up grabbing it. Raincoat. I got a raincoat one time. Didn't do a whole lot, but I know it's supposed to be pretty okay. Put it in the C. ICBM. I don't remember what does ICBM do. Rockets. Any... Thing that has rockets you get two more and they do more damage which is very great um, if you have this item and this we'll put that in the A if you don't have any rocket items it's literally an F because it doesn't do anything <laughs> but in the event you do it's an A alright 
it all right don't remember what you do you do something i believe this one was the 50 percent movement speed but something else and this one was the 50 percent attack speed but more defense those have both killed me um I do. If you have a lot of speed, these are good, but otherwise, no. Domino, you do something pretty good, but also something kind of bad. I just don't remember what it was. Hey, look at glass cannon. This. D. Don't use it. Gubo Jr. I like Gubo. Put him in D. Uh, Molotov. Put it in C, only because it doesn't do a lot of initial damage. This. 10%. Not really worth your time. I don't care for it don't remember what that does here's another aspect it's going in the f all right void items i like void items mm -hmm. um just slide that aspect item in there real quick i do like void items okay void items this one as long as you have a shield it's uh pretty much protecting in a glass mode great get a free hit um i'd arguably put that one in the a rank this guy calls hemorrhage instead of bleeding, and any item that is bleeding becomes this. Hemorrhage is pretty good. D. This one, now this is where it gets a little dicey. So for commando, we do like critical, right? We like critical. A lot of hits, more criticals. This replaces those criticals, but it gives you a percent chance of an instant kill. But it's a very low chance. If you got a lot of these, like at least eight of them, so you have a 4% chance, the amount of times you're hitting will increase that chance dramatically compared to other survivors. Um, I would put this probably in B rank, only because you have to have a lot of them. If it was a higher percentage, it would be an A, even an S. But because the percentage is so low, for each one is 0.5% it's going in B. Um, this one, remember we put Bustling Fungus in D rank. If you're running a normal run, Commando, he pretty much never stops sprinting, right? Well, where this one heals you when you're sitting still, this one heals you when you're sprinting. And um, for Commando, it's definitely a B, because he's always sprinting. you got to get that sprint going. This kind of gives you a free void item, but I don't think it's as common as a normal one. It's an encrusted key. If you can find the item, it's good, but oftentimes I can't find <laughs> this. You are the guitar one. I don't remember exactly what you do. We'll come back. This creates a black hole randomly, which is kind of like our thing here kind of works it's not quite as good because it's unpredictable if you have a lot you get a lot of black holes makes it great but it's kind of a c rank only because of how rare it is that it happens um don't remember completely what you do this is great when you hit an enemy that has full hp it does an ignition and explodes where its counterpart which is this one you have to kill it for it to happen but killing it Early game's not easy, but this, you get that first shot, instantly starts blowing things up. It's great. Shrimp with Commando. That is about a nest here if I ever saw one. This does replace this, but this still helps this. If it helped that, it still helps this. Now, if you have this and a lot of attack speed plus Commando Shrimp, um, pretty much you may as well... Turn down your volume, because all you're going to hear is very loud pitched, lots of shrimp shooting out. But, a lot of DPS. A tentabobical! Tentabobical, uh, about the same as chronobobical, I don't know, it's not the best. Where did I put it? Right there. C bank. Uh, I don't remember you. I don't think I've gotten this one before. So, let's start looking up items, shall we? What item do we need to see? We need green items. Let's go to those. All right, the first one we need to see is the Funky Scythe, which is Harvester Scythe. Gain 5% critical chance and critical strikes heal for eight HP plus four per stack. Well, that's actually pretty good. 
gain 5% critical. Critical we do like, and it does HP, so I'm kind of thinking A rank for Commando. Our next one is the funky thing there. It is Berserker's Pauldron, killing four enemies within one second, sends you into a frenzy for six seconds, increases movement speed and attack speed. Um, this can be good later game. I don't know if it's something you want to depend on early game. Um, only because of that I'm going to put it in B. If the early game had a lot of mobs, you're constantly killing stuff, it would definitely be an A. And then whatever that is, I've never seen that in my life. As a matter of fact, I don't even see it on here. On the wiki. What are you? I guess we'll come back. Uh, legendary red items. I forget what these two do. Looks like the Soulbound Catalyst kills reduced equipment cooldown by 4 seconds. That could be pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put that in B. And then that guy is the Wake of Vultures. Gain the power of an, uh, any killed elite monster for 8 seconds. Um, eh. Could care less if I add those powers. Let's get to the boss items. What even is that first one? It's a rock. Little Disciple, fire a tracking wisp for 300% damage, fires every 1.6 seconds while sprinting, fire rate increased with movement speed, drop from Grove Tender. Um, I have not had that one, I'm going to leave it there. Um, let's do the Irradiant Pearl, increases all stats by 10%, that sounds great, where did we get that from? The Cleansing Pool, which takes a Lunar. Um, every time I see a cleansing pool, I'm never able to use it. I'm not sure why, but that sounds like a pretty good item. I'm going to put it in B. Um, let's do the Molten Perforator. 10% chance on hit to call forth three magma balls from an enemy, dealing 300% damage each. Drop from a magma worm. That sounds like it could be pretty good, but I don't know how. 10% chance... Per enemy, probably only a C because of the low proc chance. You'd have to get a lot of them for it to be worth it. Uh, the standard pearl increases maximum health by 10%. Uh, see, it's a health upgrade. What is the shatter spleen? Gain 5% critical chance. Critical strikes bleed enemies for 240% base damage. Bleeding enemies explode on death for 400%. So if you get that, I bet that would also build into this. That sounds like it be, could be pretty good. Um, and it gives you more critical. So for Commando, that sounds like it could be a definite A. I'm going to have to put that one in A, only because it helps the bleed as well as critical. Alright, and then mere two lunar items, which I don't know what a lot of them do, because I don't trust myself taking them, because they're probably bad. What do we have here? Let's look for the funky shell. Gesture of the Drowned. Reduce equipment cooldown by 50%, but forces your equipment to activate whenever it is off cooldown. So, unpredictable. I don't like unpredictability. I'm going to put that in the F. Whatever that is, uh, Black Acorn. What are you? Visions of Heresy. Replace your primary skill with Hungering Gaze. Fire a flurry of tracking shards that detonate after delay. Dealing 120% damage. Hold up to 12 chargers that reload after 2 seconds. Plus 2 per stack. Place primary. Oh. Commando primary is pretty much commando. So I'm going to have to put that in the F for commando. Um, you, I believe, can be used pretty good, but at the same time, I think that's a active skill. Yeah, lunar equipment. Um, Hellfire 10 cure. Ignite all characters within 15 meters for 12 seconds. Deal 5% of your maximum health second as burning as damage. The burn is 0.5 times stronger on yourself, 0.25 stronger on allies, and 24 times stronger on enemies. This item, again, it can be very good if you have constant health regen and you can withstand it. Um, 
in the right circumstances. I know a lot of speed speed runners use this, and it's like an S rank for them. Um, for a normal user, take it or leave it. If you know how to use it, take it. If you don't, don't take it. All right, the next item is that guy, which I don't like, the Effigy of Grief. All characters within are slowed by 50% and have their armor reduced by 20. Can place up to five of them. Yeah, that includes you. It's kind of D. Maybe good for some game mode, but maybe good for some game mode, but definitely not all of them. Next one is that guy, Spinal Tonic. Drink the tonic, gaining a boost for 20 seconds, increasing damage by 100%, increases attack speed by 70%, and increases armor by plus 20. It also increases maximum health by plus 50%, increases passive health regeneration by 300%, and increases movement speed by 30%. But when the tonic wears off, you have a 20% chance to gain a tonic affliction, reducing all of your stats by 5%. And that's every time, if that happens. 20% chance of you to lose 5% all stats. This may be another one that's kind of a use at your own risk. All right, what is that? Some kind of hammer and stone blade. Let's get up to it. Um, hammer and stone blade. The defiant gouge. Using a shrine summons enemies. Stronger per stack nearby. Scales over time. So what you're saying is... Do you want to make the game harder on yourself? Pick up this item. No. No, thank you. All right, and then we have purity. All skill cooldowns are reduced by two plus one per stack. Two seconds. All random effects are rolled plus one. Plus one per stack times for an unfavorable outcome. Don't know what that means. Don't like it. F. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the equipment. The first one we're seeing here is the funky look like flowers. I don't remember what it's called. But you are eccentric vase. Create a quantum tunnel of up to 1,000 meters in length. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much a teleporter. Um, eh, If you need to get away from everything real fast. Dig it. What are you? You look like a bag. Blast shower. Cleanse all negative effects. Includes debuff damage over time and nearby projectiles. There's not really a whole lot of negative effects unless you're in, like, um, elite mode. Or you're stuck in an elite. Go see. Um, egg, I forget what the egg does. You are volcanic egg, turn into a draconic fireball for five seconds, deal 500% damage on impact, detonates at the end for 800%. Um, that could be pretty good, but it's not the best. This little drum gong thing here, Gorog's Opus. All allies enter a frenzy for seven seconds, increasing movement speed by 50%, attack speed by 100%. For multiplayer, I guess it's good. For single running commando, probably not the best. Um, voodoo doll, forgive me please. Throw a cursed doll out that triggers on any on kill effects you have every one second for eight seconds. Oh. So if you have a lot of gasoline and things like that, you'd be good. I'll put it in B. Alright, we're two boss items. Again, what is that funky looking rock? Funky looking rock, what are you? Are these actives or equipments? They may be. Maybe. Where are they? Oh, okay. Little Disciple, tracking Wisp of 300%. Didn't I already do this? I thought I already did this. Am I crazy? Maybe. Um, C. <laughs> I thought I already did that one. Alright. The next one is the Genesis Loop. Falling below 25% health causes you to explode. Dealing 6,000% base damage. And recharges every 30... Uh, yeah, every 30 seconds. This can be good. Get you out of a pinch. C. 
Then we have whatever that thing is. Charge perforator. 10% chance on hit to down a lightning strike. Dealing 500% damage comes from the overloading worm. 10% chance on hit. I guess. Probably another C. Alright. A burning egg comes from the grandparent. Heal from incoming damage for 15. You're probably going to take more than 15 damage. It's kind of like a, another damage reduction but in a dumber way let's put it in D rank empathy cores every 30 seconds summon two solace probes that gain 100% damage per ally on your team D most boss items tend to be C um, another lunar item looks like a mantis claw hooks of heresy replace your secondary skill with sli slicing nostril I actually like this one for commando yeah I like this one for commando if I remember correctly we'll put it in B um, it's basically a bunch of it's like a miniature blade storm that kind of explodes at the end it's pretty cool okay and we are now at some more red items the ones I do not understand Ah, oh, these items here come from the void, which makes more sense. That's probably why I don't understand them. Critical strikes deal an additional 100% damage. <laughs> yes. So for commando, obviously we want to get as much critical as we can. And we do more damage to those criticals, it's S rank. Alright, you are another type of scorpion. I got this recently, but I don't remember what it does. 100% chance on hit reduce armor by 2. B. Um, then we go down. We got some weird potion. That I don't remember exactly what it does. Bottled chaos trigger a random equipment effect. Unpredictable, but probably okay. D. Don't like unpredictable. All right, more lunar. I'm about tired of these lunar. I do not like lunar items. Eulogy zero. Items have a five percent chance to become a lunar item instead. Um, what are you? You are egocentrism. Egocentrism. Every three seconds, gain an orbiting bomb that detonates on impact for 360% damage, up to a maximum of three bombs. Every 60 seconds, a random item is converted into this item. Ooh. Mmm. I want to use this item. <laughs> I might use the whatever to choose items and just grab this just to see what it does this sounds fun I'll put it in C all right the guitar what exactly do you do again avoid guitar which is called the poly loot 25% chance to fire lightning for 60 total damage 60% total damage up to three times corrupts all ukuleles Sounds pretty good. I'll put it in C. We have the Lysate cell. Add plus one charge of your special skill, reduce the special skill cooldown by 33%. Crepes all fuel cells. So, special skill, which is your R key. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And it lowers the cooldown. That's pretty good. R key helps out pretty a lot for stunning. Uh, Benthic Bloom upgrades three random items to items of the next higher rarity at the start of each stage, but it corrupts all 57 leaf clovers. 57 leaf clover is pretty good, but it upgrades items. C, because some of these items we don't want to upgrade. Um, whatever this thing is. Pluripotent Larva. Upon death, this item will be consumed and you will return to life with three seconds of invulnerability. And all of your items that can be corrupted will be. Honestly, I don't think that would be a bad thing. And it gives you an extra life. I'm going to put an A rank because it gives you an extra life. But the ones you don't want corrupted do get corrupted. So it's not quite going to be an S rank. And then, I actually have not gotten this. Newly hatched Zoa. Every 60 seconds, gain a random void ally. 
can have up to one allies at a time plus one per stack corrupts all all yellow items so every yellow item so yellow items yellow items as we can see aren't the best I mean this one where's the um where did I put the pot yeah B let's go mm. Match it up with the yellows. What are you? I don't even see you on here. There's another active I need to do though. Um, that is remote caffeinator. Requ request an Eclipse Zero vending machine, which I don't even know what that is from the UES Safe Travels. Okay, delivery guaranteed in five seconds, dealing 2,000% damage. Heal up to three targets for 25% of their maximum health. I mean, that might be a multiplayer item. I'm gonna put it in C rank. Another boss item that for some odd reason I didn't look at because I know how to do these videos. We have Defense Nucleus. Killing elite monster spawns an alpha construct with 300% damage and 300% health. Limited to 4. Plus 4 per stack. So what you're saying is this would be great for glass and elite. For commando specifically it doesn't do a whole lot. C rank with the rest of the yellow items now this I don't see it's green but I don't see it on the wiki at all I don't know what you are so let's see what this rock here is if it's anything what is said rock There you are, Trophy Hunter's Tricorn. Looks kind of cool, but that's about it. Yeah, that's an S-Ring. 